what you guys are going to do is investigate sea urchin abundance and algae density and abundance. Your independent variable is basically the amount of sea urchins. How does that affect algae abundance? Sea archer from its original place. I'm gonna put on another rock and look what the small black fish, the damsel fish, do to the sea arch. Okay, just down here. Okay. You know what a quadrat is? Okay, you're gonna do that underwater this time. This is a quadrat. Right. And this helps us measure how many units of smush there are and how many units of line there are. And you can imagine the smush is going to be the algae. It helps us measure how much algae they've eaten out of a certain area. You are going to count how many green sea urchins are inside the quadrat, okay? And then you are going to estimate the percent cover of green algae. This is how much space they are using in the substratum. The substratum will be the black lava rock. Okay. So the idea is that the more sea urchins you have, the less algae will there be. This is Nobody at Beach, one of the most abundant sea lion beaches in all of the Galapagos. Thanks for that. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's his body. And now he's moved, so all of our quadrants have been messed up.